It's Mother's Day weekend. This is TLC Live. Mother's Day weekend can always mean a flower or two for mom. Moms love flowers, hint, hint. Daryl's here to tell us more, <laughs> more about the flowers that we all need, hint, hint. Starting with hydrangeas. Hydrangea. Yes, it makes a great gift. Uh, they're beautiful in flower beds. Mm. Um, wonderful plants all yeah. around. And are they hard to take care of? No, not really, actually. As long as you know that they need to have some afternoon shade, then you okay. should be good to go. Okay. Um, so as long as you have the afternoon shade, then there are numerous varieties to choose from. There's mm -hmm. lots of colors from pink, purplish, blue, white, green. Yeah. Um, Pick your poison, of, all sorts of colors here. Exactly, uh, mm -hmm. and lots of varying heights as well. So you can get one that's gonna max out at one to two feet tall or one that's gonna max out at like eight to 10 feet tall. So- No, you're kidding me. No, and they are beautiful when they get that big. So, so, so like my height or your height? Uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> the quieter range, yes, and heights. <laughs> um, and something I do wanna talk about with hydrangea mm -hmm. is a lot of people think that you have to cut them back or you need to cut them back in order to bloom. And that is most always not the case. So okay. unless you need to prune it back for size reasons, and I would just leave it alone. Okay. Um, and don't forget fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer is good for all blooming plants, so okay. that'll help. And what about the water? You water, uh, water, two water. Two three times a really good soak. Um, okay. You want to make sure that they're that they're getting adequate moisture, so don't put it in a place where it's mm -hmm. it's difficult to get water to. Mm -hmm. So two to three times a week is good. Yeah, and this will continue to grow and grow and grow. These are perennials, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. These are perennials. Most of the ones we have out here now are rebloomers, so they're going to bloom once. They're real heavy in the spring, and then they're going to bloom another time after that, another time. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the varieties we have. Um, like the big ones over there, they're gonna get really big. They bloom once and then those blooms just hang on and they just kind of change color as the season progresses. So Just like your mother's love. Just like your mother's love. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, nothing says love like roses. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. They have mm -hmm. great fragrance. They're super easy to grow. Mm -hmm. Many, many, many colors to choose from. Yes, and mothers love yes. roses. Yeah, so if you have a shady spot for hydrangea, mm -hmm. um, or if you don't have a shady spot for hydrangea, you have more sun, then roses are the way to go. Yeah. Um, they need like six or so hours of sunlight to be able to bloom their best. They can certainly take more than that, um, but they're really easy to grow. They're not needy when it comes to water uh -huh. once they're established. Um, really easy, but you do want to fertilize as well to get the most blooms. Okay, and you have, do you have the, the big roses and the little rose type? Correct, we've got the hybrid teas, floribundas, grandifloras, we've got carpet roses, shrub roses, we really have all the roses mm -hmm. to choose from, even the tree roses, which are really, really spectacular uh -huh. right now. Um, so kind of know your space, know what size you want something to get. You might want a drift rose that's gonna stay very small, like a ground cover, like for the front of a bed. Yeah. Or we have the big, beautiful tree or tree roses yeah. um, that would definitely span, stand out more, of the, more as a specimen, but yeah, they're beautiful right now. I was noticing all the colors. Oh my gosh, yes. There are so many good colors for mom right now to choose <laughs> from. Make, they would make a great gift for Mother's Day. Maybe your mom isn't a flowery type of gal. Maybe she would prefer a pine. Yes, I would definitely prefer a pine <laughs> over all those things. But um, these are really cool. We have, again, there's so many different kinds to choose from for every different landscape style. Whether you want short and compact and round, mm -hmm. uh, we have some really cool topiary pines mm -hmm. uh, to give you a really cool specimen look, even for a pot. Uh, the golden varieties are awesome now. Um, there's just so many different things to choose from. Yeah, so gorgeous. And what do we need to do to keep these alive? Lots um, and lots of water. No, do they need lots and lots of sun? Yeah, lots and lots of sun is great on these, but they are so easy to grow. Once they're established, I mean, they aren't needy at all. There's really not much you need to do for these guys. Oh, the mothers um, love that. <laughs> mothers love that, exactly. It's an easy one to grow here in Oklahoma for sure. That's, that's an interesting question because people yes. think pines, they think mountains, but they love Oklahoma. They love Oklahoma, they do. How is that possible? <laughs> well, you know, we actually can grow some things good in Oklahoma, but this, this is one of them. <laughs> Daryl, thanks so much. Thanks to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. We'll see you next time on TLC Live.